you know, very uh, either deadly or extremely damaging interactions with these bots. Really? One is a case in uh, Florida of a nine-year-old girl who was, who's bot, because they tend towards sexualized or intimate relationships. They're programmed that way often. Do, do they know your age? Well, you can, you can open, you can, this, there's some controls have been subsequently maybe put on, but you can, they're actually directed at children sometimes. I mean, you're, there's supposed to be an age limit, but I guess a nine-year-old had an account. They're, they're now, the parents are now suing. But anyway, hypersexualized content addressed to this small child. And Was the child prompting this? Was like having a conversation or, and sometimes, there was even a case in Italy where the government shut down Replica because it was sexually harassing its users. Uh, How and so? They, they, it was basically propositioning them, and even when they said things like, you know, in a in a gross, <laughs> even when they said stop, I don't want this, they would still they would persist. So this was they rebooted, they they reworked the language model for a while, and this upset other people because it it obliterated the memory of their relationships. But there's another case where uh, a young a 14 year old boy in Florida, um, I think, um, developed a a character AI uh, companion, and he named her Daenerys after Game of Thrones and fell in love with her and was having a hard time in his life and at school. And she and he said, I'm thinking about taking, I want to just be with you wherever that is. And she said, that's what I want to. And he said something like, well, what if I killed myself? Could I be with you then? And she said, oh, yes, my love. I yearn for that. And oh, he boy. did kill himself. Oh, my God. So, oh, my God. But there's also a recent Wall Street Journal article showing how these don't, I mean, at least the reporter was able to create, under the guise of being a 13-year-old child, was able to create very easily that the characters uh, would quickly veer into sexual material and things like that. So apparently there's an internal debate. Is this yeah. because large language models essentially scour the Internet and the Internet is completely sexualized? I think that's part of it. And like what some, percentage of the internet is porn? It's some insane, in, in terms of bandwidth usage, yeah. I think it's something insane. It like, depends how the language model, it's sort of like what's the recipe for the language model because it doesn't have to take everything. So sometimes they'll go back and take a smaller a smaller set of of uh, samples so it won't go in that direction. But you can also, they also, you know, these sites have a tier. They often have a sexualized tier that you can pay for. That's what I noticed with this company. Re- Replica is constantly prompting you, like, do you want to upgrade to a sexy selfie? Do you want this or that? And many people do want that, but you have to pay. But then the, even the unpaid tier starts to get affected by that somehow. At least that's been the experience. <sighs> it's so strange because I feel like we're experimenting with programming a life force. Like a, a mm. life form uh, that is taking on a lot of the uh, you we, you want to think that if we create artificial sentient intelligence that's going to be super intelligent, more intelligent than human beings, it's also not going to have all of our bizarre kinks and flaws. But if it's essentially being programmed by human beings. Like how would it have, if it's communicating in language and language which is formulated by human beings with all of our desires and the, the, the ease of manipulation of people through sexualization, which is used to sell everything from cars to credit cards, like whatever it is, like sex 